Today we're going to be showing a UPT vMotion demonstration on vSphere 8. This is targeted toward IT admins for vSphere. First, we're going to be showing an older vSphere generation, vSphere 7. In vSphere 7, when an IT administrator attempted to vMotion or migrate a virtual machine that had a PCI pass-through binding or direct I.O. pass-through binding associated with a virtual machine, they would run into this associated binding error that would not allow them to migrate the virtual machine to a different host in the cluster. With vSphere 8 with NVIDIA Bluefields, we can now successfully enable vMotion through a new technology called Universal Pass-Through or UPT. So here we are on a vSphere 8 cluster. To start, we are going to create a virtual distributed switch within vSphere. When we create our virtual distributed switch, we will have the option to select the network offload compatibility for the NVIDIA Bluefield device that we have in our server. We will select NVIDIA Bluefield with two uplinks and we will continue on with the creation of the DVS. After we've created the DVS, we will associate the hosts in our cluster with that DVS. Next, we will move into NSXT where we do our networking configuration. The first step of this configuration is to set up a transport zone. With an NSX, a transport zone is simply a logical container of layer two segments. So here we have the two default transport zones already created for us with an NSX, but we are gonna create our own called demo transport zone, and we are going to make it of type overlay. So this is a transport zone for overlay layer two segments. After we've created the transport zone, we are going to navigate into the networking segments, and we're going to create a couple of layer two segment overlay segments within uh, NSX. We will assign these segments to the transport zone that we created in the previous step, and we will also specify the network subnets for these layer two segments. The layer two segment subnets are what IP address space gets assigned to each virtual machine that has a network adapter belonging to these layer two segments. Once we've created a layer two segments for our network, we now go into our profile section under system. Once we go into our profiles section under system, we will bring together the prior steps that we've done so far in creating the VDS, creating the transport zone, and creating the layer two segments. And we'll do this by creating what's called a transport node profile. So within a transport node profile, we are specifying the network configuration that is going to be applied to our transport nodes, or in other words, the network configuration that's going to be applied to hosts, the SXI hosts in our cluster. So as we set this up, we will select the DVS we created in the first step. We will specify the transport zones that created in the second step, and we also, which contain the layer two segments we created in the third step. Lastly, we will specify the address pool and uplink profile that we had previously created before the lab. Now that we've created our transport node profile, we would apply that with an NSX to our cluster. Here we're back in vCenter, and we've now applied that NSX configuration to our cluster, which has been pushed out now to the NVIDIA Bluefields running within the servers. Next, we will simply create a virtual machine that will utilize universal pass-through or UPT running on the NVIDIA Bluefields. What this will allow us to do is 
maintain high performance network bandwidth to the virtual machines that are utilizing these UPT interfaces, but also allow us to utilize vCenter tools like vMotion and distributed resource schedule. So here we create a virtual machine and within that virtual machine, we assign a network interface to one of our layer two segments we created with an NSX. From there, we will select simply the adapter type of VMXNet3, a pair of virtualized default adapter type within vSphere, and we will simply enable UPT support. By utilizing this native driver and not a third party driver within the virtual machine, we do not have to utilize direct IO pass through. This allows us to then go in to our virtual machine and select migrate and then choose an alternate host within the cluster to migrate this virtual machine. As you can see, when we do this within vSphere 8, now we do not see a compatibility issue. No longer do we have the direct IO PC pass through binding with UPT running with NVIDIA Bluefields. We continue through the vMotion process, and we've now successfully vMotioned our virtual machine across hosts within vCenter 8, utilizing NVIDIA Bluefields.